and holidays are full of traditions and with Easter this Sunday it got me thinking about ways our traditions have brought our friends and family together. So I reached out to one of my fellow Italian Americans living in San Francisco that is no stranger to baking in the kitchen to share the meaning behind breaking bread together this Sunday. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Pane di Pasqua. It's beautiful and decadent and tastes molto bene. But the love and respect that goes into the process of baking it transpires in the traditions carried on today. Okay, here we go. Like myself, San Francisco is the home to many Italian Americans. And Easter is a reminder of the value of our family history and our roots in Italy. That, that's the perfume of my youth. Frank D'Ambrosio, a fellow Italian San Franciscan, comes from a long line of bakers. I'm going to add more flour. Frank invited me over to his home to teach me his family's recipes for pane di Pasqua, also known as Easter bread. For us, uh, Easter and, and, um, and uh, Christmas and anything it's really all about just getting together and baking together. You see, like many cultures, the table brings together the family. But there is so much love that goes into creating those moments to break bread. Frank would work in his family's bakery in his childhood for hours each week. So his skills are tried and true. This recipe I learned from uh, my, my grandfather, who came from Palermo. Mm -hmm. uh, they settled in uh, East Harlem in New York City on 106th Street, where, uh, uh, where a, lot of, um, a lot of the Italian immigrants from the South came. And uh, he had eight brothers and one sister. Every single one of them was a baker. Every single one that came to America opened a bakery. Ready? This bread uh, made with flour, hints of honey, brown sugar, hey, salt, and of course so yeast to rise. <laughs> also represents and honors more than just the Catholic faith. Over, over, over. It braids together a Jewish challah and an Italian sweetbread. And then you flip it over this way. To incorporate both Passover and Easter. But when it comes right down to it, it, it was really about family, about being together, about love. For Frank, who did not take baking on a career himself, creating this bread is a large part of his heart. I'm a baker. My father was a baker. My grandfather was a baker. My guy, it, it just, it was just a, a, a it's not only, it's not a, only a profession, I mean, or it's, it's a, it's a lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's the kind of thing we use, we s would sleep, you know, all during the day and bake all night long. Go like this. Uh, uh. Nice. And while each family has their own secrets and styles to their recipes. We do it like this, right? And then, and then you roll it like that. Okay, now you're just showing off. I am. I'm totally showing you. <laughs> and there you go. And those are your... T the <laughs> All right, get me with some pasta flour and this will be a whole different game, Frank. Every Italian, wherever you are from, can bond together while setting the table with those we love over stories of our past and joys of our present. And just enjoy it. This is the centerpiece for Easter. Yeah, there you go, exactly. Okay, buon appetito. Altrettanto, grazie.